hello hello welcome back welcome back to the channel african world traveler here here we are it's a nice lovely evening in blackpool It's free, okay, all day, wow. All right. Kids is free, says there. How are you gonna do business then if kids is free? <laughs> uh, I'll bring my kids, feed them up for free. Not with sugar, actually. I'm not gonna overload them with sugar. <laughs> anyway, let's go on. This is Blackpool. And, uh, on a Tuesday, Tuesday evening. After a long time for the weekend, it's cold. It's cold. It's cold. It's cold. You're good, yeah? No, we're not. Oh, hey. So we're good. So, tell about that. And that's the tram there, guys. A lot of people ready for trams. There's a lot of people on the tram stop. A lot of people. So, guys, if you're over here, you can use this tram. It can take you all the way to Fleetwood. That's their last stop. And then you can bring you back all the way here. And then, you know, it could be like a day trip, a day out. That's a spyglass. See the spyglass. Here we are. You could be up there, see what's everything going on. You can watch everything that's going down here. The spyglass. Wow, it's in the evening, guys. It's after 6 pm. After 6 pm. It's still busy. <coughs> in the summertime, guys, Blackpool is booming. That's what I suggested. For you know, really, Blackpool in the summer. It's a lot of team guys. See the locals coming out, holiday makers, kids out and about cycling. See a lot of stuff man. <laughs> Crazy kid. <laughs> See them? So yeah. Kids with their bikes, messing around with their bikes. Photograph about it or somebody taking pictures. People are going inside. Doing their thing. Yeah. Crossing their hand, they just enjoy themselves. Enjoying himself, so I've noticed. It's gonna get a lot busier, guys, once you start warming up a bit. It's where to start. Sign in. There's more people are coming over. More visitors, Some families, kids enjoying themselves. Oh. It's a change, something different. You don't want to be just locked in, in your room like a prisoner. You come out, and see what's going on, see what's happening about. There's a tower there. 
Black Hole Tower. That's the entrance, and the back is the exit. I'm tying up his belt. Right. Let's keep going, let's keep going. I'm gonna cut to the walkabout on Market Street. See what we're gonna get down that end. See if we can find our friend. Uh, see if we can find George. Mm. Still need to cut through here. Let's cut through here. Let's cut through here. Let's see if John gonna be in luck. Whether we're gonna be in luck or John gonna be in luck. George, hey. George, George, that's him over there. I think I believe that's him. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. That's him there. I believe that's not George. Mm -hmm. that's him. I believe that's George. I believe that's him. I believe that's him. I'm meant to make him walk about. Okay. George! It's not here, we've got to try and catch him up. Guys, we're not bad people, guys. We just share the little we get with all this. George! George! You alright? How you doing man? I was looking for you man. Where you been? I was at, um, what's it called? Walkabout. Walkabout? I was just about to go that way. I went past there and Which I was, was about to go back that way. Literally I was sat there. For you were sat there? How long you been there for? I was literally there for, for about two hours. Joking me? I yeah. was there like... Well, which end were you? I was at the back, the same spot. I was literally the same spot. No, I went past there not long ago. I didn't see you. Literally, I've just literally come, you know, up this way. To yeah. There to check my bank. You went, went to what? To check check my bank. See if my partner's put any money in. Your partner? Yeah. Where's your partner? At home. His house. His house? Yeah, I don't live with him. See, I've, because of the building, basically, yeah. he's been given two months. I've had to be given a week so I've moved out so I go and check on him every day where, where is that where about up in um, North Shore North Shore yeah have you eaten have you had anything to eat nah not you want to go to McDonald's let's yeah. go to McDonald's get you some food oh right, guys we're gonna take George to McDonald's get you some food all right well I thought you said like everyone was evicted in that building no uh, they've gave my part because of my partner's health conditions all right uh, because he's HIV positive. Oh, sorry. Um, oh. Because of that, mm. he's been able to, by law, mm. they've had to give him two months. So With me, yeah. because I've got no health conditions, apart from mental health, mm. they can slightly be less lenient to me. That's, that's, that's crazy, man. So is he the only one in the building at the moment? Uh, no, there's two occupiers still. There's one above him. Hey. <laughs> there's, one, there's one above him mm. and there's one like him down at the bottom and then she's at the top. But she gets, she's already been given her notice and she's made pre preparations right. to leave that building. Oh. Um, my partner, on the other hand, mm. hasn't made anything yet because I'm running around right. as his partner and carer right. to sort him a place out. Oh, that's that's yeah. crazy, man. Let's go in there and get you some food, man. Keep walking. Oh. Yeah, let's, go. Yeah. go on, let's go and find what you want. Actually, you want something in there? Yeah, what do you want? Huh? Big Mac meal. Big Mac meal. Yeah. And a milkshake. And a milkshake. All right. Uh, uh, George, she wants a Big Mac or Big Mac. Uh, yeah, and a milkshake. You order it, and then I'll pay for it. 
So guys, we're in McDonald's, we're gonna order some food for both George and uh, the lady out there. For both. Uh, so you want a Big Mac and you get what you want too as well. What? I don't even know what to do. And you get what you want. Get everything you want. I'm not Yeah, Milsa, you get what you want too. What one did she say? Because I don't know. I don't know what she, she didn't say. She just said Milsa. Just get right, out. Right, I'll any, just get her any. Get her anyway. Get her the large one. Is that the large one? Yeah, yeah that's the large. And I'll just get a coat for me. Yeah, get what you want. Yeah? I've ordered mine. That's fine. It's already on. Uh, you, here we go. I'll give you my card. You do it. Contact me. Let me see it. Mm -hmm. Not today. Here we go. Swap it in. Um, yeah. Should yeah. give us. Should give, give us a receipt. Get a receipt, yeah, yeah. Alright, cool man. Go and wait for the order. So guys, we made a bit of order for both uh, both uh, George and the lady out there. So we're gonna wait for collection. And then uh, yeah, let's see. We wait on this side there. It's nobody using it anyway, so we just wait for George to collect his his meal, his burger. Then, uh, yeah. so basically, uh, go on, go on, that's fine. Because you can go on upstairs and eat your food as well. You can go and sit upstairs. So we're gonna wait for George, George to come out, and then uh, yeah, then we we'll give the food to the ladies as well. Because we don't intend to do, you know, we are we good people. We're not bad. So seeing somebody on camera doesn't mean they're bad people, you know. So people have different motives, people have different intentions. But our intention is genuine, so we don't do bad things. You know? If we can change the world, we change the world. But hey man, we just gotta leave life. That's the new building up there. It's where the museum is and all that. Let's just see if I can have it. Quick interview with the lady out there while we wait for George. How you doing, love? You okay? You okay being on the camera? Um, it's a great YouTube. You, if you're okay with it, fine. If you don't, then fine. Um, Not really. That's fine. No, so George is getting your burger and your milkshake. Yeah. All right. What's your name? Thirsty. Yeah. You all right? Are you warm or not? Yeah. So, have you got a place to stay? You're homeless. How? A hotel for 22 pounds, bed and breakfast. How long you been on the street for? Six, seven months. Did you have a place before? You lost everything. Wow, I'm really sorry to hear that. But well, anyway, you don't want to be on camera. I don't want to take much of your time. We we'll just wait for Joy to bring your uh, uh, your McDonald's or whatever, and you enjoy it, yeah. All right, no worries. All right, we're YouTubers. We're not meant to, uh, I mean, uh, do anything, no harm to anybody or do any bad to anybody. So we're just showing people, we're showing awareness what's going on about in Blackpool, homelessness and all that. 
Sorry? So we got George here. Thank you. So George got a milkshake and a burger. Thank you. So I'm you're welcome. Same, uh, situation as you, mate. Fucking Van Yeah, Omar was looking for me before. I'm here, bagging everywhere. Alright, George. Yeah, let's go. Take care of yourself, love, yeah? Alright, so we're gonna go now. George, if you wanna sit down and have your meal, you can sit down and no, have your no, dinner, that's, mate. That's fine. You alright, yeah? I can eat and. You sure? Yeah, I can eat on the. Yeah, meal. enjoy your food, man. I'm not gonna bother you now. You eat your food. When you're done, then we have a chat. I'm always eating on the go. Is it? <laughs> I have to. Alright. Uh, because I'm at one end one mm. day mm. and then I'm down back down here mm. in the evening. In the evening. Where do you usually stay in the evening, you said? Which end? Uh usually that end. Okay, you want you going back there, yeah? Uh yeah. Oh, it's fine. So we're gonna go back and sit with John. Eh? I've just got a lot. You're making the money, man. You're making the money, yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> They're the ones who were trying to sell me crack and heroin. Who? Them kids? Yeah. Crazy, man. Don't they get, don't get yourself. They surrounding me last night saying, oh, come and score a big uh, ball of crack. And he's like, I don't do drugs. No, you better not, man. I'm anti-drugs. No, 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 no. I can't help people that use use drugs and that. You I'm anti-drugs. I know. don't believe in it. If you drink or smoke, one can understand. But you're gonna take drugs anyway. My, I'll feed you, but I won't give you a penny. So exactly. That's what I do. I don't, I don't say and beg as such. I say mm. and work. Yeah. So I yeah. Do, I look after my partner every day. Mm -hmm. All right. That's what Even though That's I'm mm -hmm. on the street, mm -hmm. I, I still go up and see you. I'm helping out. That's good. That's what love is about, you know. So guys, as you can see, we don't hate people. We don't judge. We don't discriminate. We all humans, you know. Whatever makes you happy, you know, you go along with it. So if you have a faith, you have a religion, whatever it is, that is you. So let people be. You be and let people be as well. So I have my friend here, George. So basically I'm being connected to a few homeless people, you know, like John, you know, John got a problem. Do you know John? Do you met John? I think I've heard. Yeah, John, yeah. He usually sits around here by, uh, by Primark and the other end there, by that Sue Zone. Yeah. That's where he used to sit. Well, as his missus said he's in trouble at the moment. That's what he says, what she said. So hopefully she'll be out soon. Let me run, let, let me not rush you now. Like, I walk too fast. <laughs> because you're eating, so I don't want to rush you, you know. I'm a quick walker. Are you? Uh, cool then. Cool, cool. So yeah. So we are walking towards uh, uh, George's point. I'm not sure whether he's going to walk about or he's going to go and see. Where are you going to go exactly? Is he walk about? Uh, all right. Well, in the weekdays, does he get busy? You got a few. Few. You got a few people. Few people. Mm -hmm. Massively. Not massively. Okay. Right. That's why I usually do. I come back down. Yeah. Oh, that's a vlogger there. Somebody vlogging there. Uh, if you can stop me, mm. I'll just go straight to sleep. You go straight home? Uh, I go, no, I go straight to sleep. You go straight to sleep? Oh, okay. You go straight to your partners or you go to your no, plane, your point? No, your base? Obviously, because I can't stay with them. Yeah? Oh, you're not allowed? Because I've got to come back. Alright. He's got to He's got to set the keys cut mm. for both of us. Right. I've had to hand my keys in. Mm. He's he's the only person who has keys. Right. So once I leave, mm. I tell him to make sure lock the door, right. lock the front door, yeah. don't let, let anybody in. anyone in. Okay. And if there is a problem, he calls you know it. Well, how do you, you know communicate with him then? Uh, he comes down and sees me on the night time, stuff like that. Oh, over here at the front? Yeah. Oh, okay. He checks on me. He he brings the dog. 
Oh, okay. Oh, that's good. That's good. So you basically you both check on each other. Yeah. Oh, I'm basically cool. his full-time carer. Are you his full-time carer? Yeah. Do you get paid for this? No. So you're just doing it because of it's your party? Yeah. Okay, that's great. So how long have you two been together? 12 years. 12 years? Wow, that's a long time. Okay. That's a long time. I'll let you go front for this one because it's not much room. Alright, okay. Alright. You gotta. Oh, thank you. Thank okay. you. Alright. So, yeah. So, that was the man I was looking for, George. So, I found him. So, we went to meet today. That's why he is, you see? Because, like, I wasn't expecting to meet you on the bomb into you on the street. But I just saw you turning there. I knew it you. Alright, oh, I better run and get you there. But luckily, yeah, we got you. Alright. Which are so you know when um the many people are cold or um, Yeah? I was sat on there for about half an hour. I was in the corner there, exactly and I where was I was literally mm. thinking I stopped at six o'clock. Yeah. Yeah, I said six o'clock, but what happened is this vehicle coming, I don't know if they were coming down. So I came a bit early, about like quarter to six, something like that. Oh, yeah, quarter to six, and I came a bit earlier. Watch out, watch out. Yeah, I came a bit earlier, and then you went up there. I said, all right, I'll go by central, and then on my way back, you might be back. Yeah, we, we met. So John, uh, George, do, do you, did you ever been uh, threatened or did you ever find yourself in an awkward moment where about you feel scared and that? Yeah, every day. Every day? Every day that I feel scared when I leave him mm. and I come back out yeah. on the street, I'm going to either get stabbed or murdered. Mm. Is that all that niggling feeling in the back of my head? In your head? Yeah. So why would it uh, be scared in that way? Why would you think somebody would come and attack a homeless person? Because that's what this life is now. Is it? Yeah. So they go attacking vulnerable people? Yeah. So was one of my mates. Mm. Uh, he used to live on a um, sleep right where Boots is. Yeah. It's all coming up. Mm. He caught the... Um, whole thing on camera right he got his uh, sleeping bag and yeah. his mm. head kicked in oh you're joking yeah. who, who, who do you reckon that done that is that the drunks or who it, did was, it? it was um oh. 20 year old 20 year old yeah and the locals are just uh, wait, two locals two. one not from here not from here all right we're gonna sit here for a bit yeah let's sit here for a bit guys we're gonna sit here and have a chat with george wow Oh, yeah, yeah. How can these people be horrible? So basically, it's, a, it's locals and some somebody who's not around here. Yeah. So you call him as a holiday maker, right? Yeah. Oh. And he got. Um, are they are they being charged? Yeah, uh, they're all in prison. That's good. That's um, wonderful. That's why a lot of the homeless now mm. are scared to actually be put out. Put out. So basically, it's better to keep yourself away from town. Like yeah. you'll be safer to be outside town. Yeah. Where about it's less people. That's why I either sleep further afield. Yeah. Or I sleep nearby. So then, if anything does kick off, mm. I'm only two seconds away from where my partner Bad is. Bad news. You can just come. You can so just. So I can just literally run down to yeah. him, mm. jump over his garden fence. Yeah. I'm in his garden then. His garden. You're safer there. Yeah. Wow. And you could just scream his name, he'll come out. Yeah. Uh, oh, sad man. Crazy wall, man, guys. Crazy wall, crazy wall. I mean, people are not having good intention, especially to vulnerable people like 
George or the homeless people and there's a female there. Do you, have, do you, have you ever met that lady there? No. Anyone? Never met She's her? She's a new face. She's a new face? Yeah. She says she's been there's homeless lot, seven months. There's a lot of new faces coming mm. into the town centre. Town centre? From another place? Other places. Other places. So she could have been homeless, mm. but she could have been staying like, with them saying hands and keeping herself away from this area. Mm. Um, why why leave them send hands? Do they have a better help there? No, it's not so much the help, mm. it's because you've got the sand dunes, you've got all the abandoned hotels up there. Ah, right. So they can You get can in. get in there easy. Yeah. So I mean what are we gonna do? One day would you be able to take me around? I wanna see these abandoned buildings. Yeah, yeah. there's a couple just up there uh, that are getting renovated. Can you the, get in there? Uh, you used to, mm, well, you um, but you can't anymore. So in the sand dunes, can you get in there? Uh, because it's outside, yeah. uh, and the sand dunes are outside, mm. you can put a tent up and ah, pitch up okay. a tent because there. it's outside, you can... Uh... Yeah. All right, okay, okay. So it's not like you can't get inside? No. You can just get but in the... There's a few hotels further as you get up towards the sand dunes. Yeah that are abandoned have been set on fire by kids and oh. you can get in mm. but they're just not safe it's not safe it's open yeah it's so open, basically but the roof's exposed and yeah the wind when it rains and the wind blows the water yeah, rain water, water can go all in. the water goes through into the roof inside and the roof. straight down straight down so somebody commented, I don't know if you've seen it. Are you the one that was yeah, commenting I've in seen, there? Um, Were you the one commenting there? Yeah, that yeah? was me last night. That was you, okay. Was... It was obviously, it was me commenting. Was somebody's on account? My, it was on my partner's, partner's account. YouTube. Okay. YouTube, okay. Yeah. So basically you can go and watch I the comment watch and his, read. I can watch his, mm. on his phone. On his phone. Uh, the videos. The videos and that, you can comment there. So what do you have to say about that guy that says he is willing to help? I think he said, let me see his name again. I think. He's saying if you're willing to move to, to South Wales. Wales, Wales, yeah, South Wales, yeah, and then he could put you in. Like he said, he helped first, and when you ask him, he said he could put you on the couch in the sofa. So what do you think about helps like that? If, you know, just be honest. You know, you don't. To be honest, yeah. I wouldn't want to stay on someone's sofa. Sofa, yeah. So far away from my from partner. Partner, because purely I'm his emergency contact, so I'd have to for one, get him transferred down to where I am, so then he could live with me. With you, so you want to be yeah, I wanna, caring for her, him, yeah. sorry. I do appreciate putting me up on the couch. Couch, yeah. But I'd rather have my own place. Your own place. Not anything bad about them. Yeah. It's just that with my mental health mm. and me, constantly being depressed all the time okay okay you can just read to the comment i'm giving you my phone hold the phone and read the comment and just uh, say the name the that, the name of the person that commented um, and just tell simon them simon hmm. williams um i would love to come to wales but i just can't at the minute because because I'm with my partner, who's got terminal illness, I just want to spend some time sorting him out and getting him a place down, if I did move down there, down there. So then we could be closer together and anything that happens to him, because I'm his primary carer, I'd want you to... Um, I'd then be able to then come and stay on your sofa knowing that my partner's further down where I am, if that is okay. Is that, that makes sense as well, yeah, that makes sense, that makes sense, yeah. So basically Simon, George is saying uh, he's got his partner here as well, uh, he's mainly his partner's carer and he doesn't want to be far from his partner. So that's another issue there. He would have loved to come and take the offer, 
but unfortunately he didn't want to be far away from his partner so everyone watching here if anyone here want to help george that is george's condition and i think alex also need help but uh, alex is going through something else that he need to sort out first and then uh, probably if he get the health maybe it might be a good start for others in it to yeah. change environment in it yeah it really about nobody knows you knows yeah, you but nobody there exactly and, and well, i do want the help and i do want people like the people's help mm. it's just my most that i'm scared about is my partner and him getting admitted to hospital and i'm not like there yeah. next to him uh, like because this virus that he has yeah don't mention it that much uh, like, you know, they make it discreetly yeah like he it's caused him to have memory loss and he can't remember certain things so day to day is a problem for him and with me being there i can remind him of what he needs to do this that the other and he, we get through it but if he ends up going to that end hospital and i'm down in wales i can't it's going to be four or five hours before I get back up to Blackfield to where he is. So, at the minute, it's a no. But then, maybe once I've got him sorted and he's out of that building, I can then think about, right, jump on the train, I'll come down to Wales. No one knows me, no one recognises me. Good, and then good. I can pop, probably get him somewhere quite close to me in a hostel down there. And then I'll come and stay with you, Alex. Or William. Okay, that's great. That, thank you. That's that's great. So, what is if you get like somebody offering this kind of a help in Blackpool? Then I'd, because he's down here and he's in Blackpool, I'd then take the help you because take the it's help. closer to where he is. Yes. Um, I'd be able to get to him when he needs me. So basically guys, people that are watching in Blackpool, if you think you can put George on the couch for nights, for a couple of nights or so, or you got a spare room, till he get back on his feet, uh, he can at least get somewhere warm, whereby he can have a shower, have a wash, and uh, maybe be able more, to be more creative as well, yeah. to be able to write your, your business uh, thing plan. as well, business plan, you know? Yeah. So because he's on the street, he wouldn't have much time or he wouldn't be more focused on writing uh, about his plan. So if there's anybody here that is willing in Blackpool to give him that offer like what Simon has offered uh, George to move to up uh, South Wales, please uh, do so. I mean, get in contact with us. He's following the channel and he's reading the comments. You could just uh, tag his name, George, and then uh, he will reply to the, uh, uh, to, the, to the comments or whatsoever. So George uh, is not on drugs or anything. He has an issue going on, you know, obviously, but he's not into drugs. And he seems sober most of the time I've come across of him. I don't drink. He doesn't drink, he said. Look at that, he doesn't drink. And he has a good business plan. I was going to talk to you about his business plan. Do you know how to make those candle wax you're yeah. talking about? Can you make them? Yeah. Have you made a trial before? Yeah. Uh, how long does your candle last, though, if you make them? Um, the candles are 12 hour burning. Burning. Um, but then the wax melts, you can have for a week and they'll last for a week. Oh, that's, uh, the, the wax, the, the smell, the scent? Yeah. Oh, okay, you can, the candle can burn for 12 hours. Yeah. But the wax can stay for like... Uh, the scent in the, the, the wax melts mm -hmm. can last for seven days. Seven days. Until you have to change them again. Yeah. Um, and the candles are only 12 hour burning. Uh, because of the wicks. So, okay, does it cost much to make them? No, uh, the wax on its own is a 180, 180. because it's eco soy wax. Yeah. 
Um, but you make that back literally on your first sale. Okay, okay. So, uh, how much you reckon each candle will cost? Like, if you make them, I've put a price mark because obviously the wax is so expensive yeah. to get. Um, my price was twelve quid to start with, but I've knocked it down to like a tenner because yeah. you can add to the bundle, so you can get a candle wax wax melts um an oil burner and a pack of tea lights um all for like 20 quid basically so it's all in one bundle um and then if you like them you just order more so george i was just thinking what is if you make some and then uh, you go and sell it do it online and stuff. People That's what I want to do. Um, start a little and then. I want to start little. Small, yeah. And then work Walk up yourself to up, it, yeah. Make like hopefully owning a shop and like stuff like that. So yeah, then you... I can have my own business and business. Stuff, then. Yeah. Obviously, I will have my own business. It's just I'm gonna start off small and aim big once it takes off. So what is if somebody watching and want to be in business with you? What do you think? What's the offer? Do you think like then I'd it take might be a good because what? I do need mm. I do need funding because I can't to start me off it's about fifteen hundred quid. To start you up, sorry? To start me up it's about fifteen hundred quid. Yeah. To get me started because I've got to get all the wax i've got to get the oil burners i've got to get the candles and oh candle holders and stuff like that mm. uh, the wicks the fragrances the pans to be able to do that mm. and for me to do that that's like 1500 quid 1500 quid you get everything with the materials and everything yeah so everything okay yeah because then i can set everything up yeah. and i can fork out like four five hundred quid because that's what i get each month on every four weeks on my pit yeah i get like 400 quid every uh four weeks four weeks every, my every month ah. um but that's i'm still short yeah of a grand okay to be be able to afford the stuff I need. Yeah. That's why I'm looking for either someone to like come into business with me mm -hmm. and invest and then they get the investment back once it takes off. Yeah. Or they invest in the company and then I'll just pay them that money back once I've earned that amount within the first month. But if somebody gonna invest into a business, they wanna be partnership with you. Yeah, they that's will, what. Or, they will own a percentage. They won't expect paying back. They will own like a, 